Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, we'll be taking you through just the clear coat on this Lamborghini Murcielago painted in California orange. I'm using Crystal Clear Pro high solid hardener in it, 1525, which is a medium speed hardener. So, also using the Dorbis GTI Pro with the TE20, this is a Pro Light actually. Um, in America, it's called the 10 cal Pro Light. So, this is actually my second uh, attempt at this gun. It was just a brand new gun. I used it on another job before this, which was the XKR Jaguar. And um, at this point, I was still mucking around with the settings and um, seeing what I found was the best settings for the gun. Which it turns out that I ended up actually backing off with the pressure a little bit from what I was using initially. I found um, I get better um, better efficiency if I was to back the pressure off a touch from where I had it here. I was, I was up around closer to 2 bar here, but of, which is about 29 psi. I've found that if you run it, as Mike McKay said, at a maximum of 25 psi, um, you get the best results with this gun. So. I've said T20 and the settings on this gun I've been using are about approximately three turns out. Adjust that to suit. Obviously the kinds of clears and the materials that you're using is going to um, affect that. The, the clear I use is actually um, not too thin but if I was using the um, uh, Glazer at HS clear 255 then I'd probably have the fluid wound out a bit more but I had it set to three turns with the standoffs and it was a pretty good setting. So you can see here for this actual part I'm um, I've wound the fluid in. Watch keep an eye here what I do with my thumb. I was just being a bit of a show off to be more to be honest. Adjusting the um, adjusting the fan as I go. I've just opened it right off right up after doing the inner as I was spraying. So now it's, it's wide open again. Put the first coat on there. And the side side skirt on the sill cover. I come over and straight away do the bumper. I'm going easy on that top edge where it uh, edges up to the um, to the fender, and also on the top edge where it edges up to the bonnet. You don't want to put too much clear. Sometimes even two coats of clear can um, just be enough just to change your colour. The clear I'm using is actually a very clear clear, but some clears do have very orange or yellow tinge to them, so you've got to be careful some of them, just one coat can even change it. So this is a fourth video on this car. I've done the primer work, I've done the prep work, I've done the colour matching, I've done the base coat. And this one's a clear coat. So again, if you miss the colour name, it's California Orange, and it's 0058. It's a pretty mad colour. I really like it. Personally, on my cars, I like the older cars myself. I mean, everyone would love a car like this, but I'm a fan of the older cars myself, Fords and General Motors, Holden cars. And um, I personally think that solid colours look better on, on those kind of cars. I don't usually like pearls and metallics that much, but for a pearl colour, this is um, this is really one of my favourite colours. But that's just a personal preference more than anything, really. So I'm not worried about any um, the amount of clear I use on this. Uh, you're just going for the finish. If, I ended up using actually quite a lot. I ended up using um, about 900 mils of clear on two parts, which is much more than what I would usually use. But for the car, it is uh, you don't really hold any expenses back on it. You know, you just you just want to get a great quality finish on it. So in between coats, there I cut that out. That was probably about five minutes in between coats. Make sure on a job like this, you really want to observe your flash off times correctly or else you'll start getting solvent foil or you can also start getting runs and stuff like that. So it's just um, winding that fan in a touch again. Just 
as we get into all these areas. At the very end, there's a um, there's a couple of clips of the car when it's finished off. We've also got a couple of links at the very end, so if you haven't seen them, a couple of um, different spray guns review and demos, the Iwata and the Sarda Jet. But this is my weapon of choice for most of the time. Unfortunately, there's a few little bits here that it goes out of focus, but um, uh, most of the time it's pretty good. The footage I, I end up getting, I'm using the GoPro mounted on my the head mount, so um, yeah, those are. Those who watch my videos regularly would know that this is something that I do most of my videos. It gives you an up close uh, look at how I get the job done. So. Bit of a tricky colour to colour match this one, so if you haven't already seen the colour matching video, you should check it out. Three stage pearl. Also, check out the base coat one as well. We've also got a uh, we've got two clips of the car. Once it one when it's um completely detailed and everything, and we've also got one down at the um, the workshop where the car was originally originally sold from, and the service centre which is um called Barber Gallows, and they do all the uh, high end uh, luxury cars and stuff like that. We had a um, Rolls Royce Wraith come in the other day just for some polishing work done on it. Um, it was about an $800,000 car, so pretty mad car. You open the door up and they got these big gullwing doors on them that open up sideways and the whole headlining or the whole in interior lining of the roof is um, covered in small fibre optic cables which light up. They look like stars. It's um, pretty special, I tell you what. Pretty awesome car. So, and we've got a clip of that, just a quick walk around that workshop. So we've got this car once it's detailed, and then we've also got it. Just I was lucky enough to have a quick walk around that workshop and take some footage, and it's pretty mind blowing. Some of the cars that we've got down there, it's just Maseratis, Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis, everything just side by side. There's yeah, nothing short of hundred thousand dollar cars everywhere. Yeah, so the next video I'll be uploading will be the polishing on this one. It turned out there wasn't much to polish on it, but um, to actually match the, the peel on the rest of the car, which had been polished flat, so they they sanded all the orange peel out of it and then polished it up. So I had to do that. So the next video you'll be you'll be seeing how to uh, sand something flat and polish it up. just about brings it to an end. I'm just going around here making sure there's not any spots that are a touch too dry. Just going over it all again. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I gave it a good five minutes. Go out, clean out, clean out all your guns once you finish painting. You don't want to hit the bake button too soon um, or else you can get starting to get runs or you can also get some um, uh, solvent boil is what we call it. Um, it, it's where the, the paint, the air gets trapped inside the paint or the solvents get trapped inside the paint once you, you bake it too quickly. So it's nice and clean, got a good finish on it. I'm pretty happy with how that gun performs. You can get a pretty killer finish with it. car here once it's all done the colour matches up pretty much perfect I was real happy with how it blended out too so I've actually done both of these sill covers I did this one uh, previous time it came in and this is down at the, um, the garage 
a quick, we're actually just taking the bump bar down to check it, make sure we were happy with the colour, which it turned out that was really good, so. And just go for a quick walk around, check out some of these mean machines they've got down here. That whole driveway is just full of Maseratis, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. And that brings this video just about to a wrap up. A couple of links here. Check them out if you haven't already seen them. Uh, give my channel a subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.